All right, Sister Kate here again. This is like part four of this series. I'm almost down by the creek, and I wanted you to notice a couple things. Um, it's taken me a while to do these chores, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I'm wearing a full coverall against the wind and, and everything, and the snow and the cold. And so yeah, there's a fine balance there where it keeps you warm, but you don't want to be sweating. Because if you start sweating in cold weather, then you're going to get yourself colder. So I'm going slow. And I'm not wearing my gloves right now because as you get overheated, you need to peel off layers. I've tucked my hoodie. I don't know if you can see that. I hope I'm getting it. My hoodie uh, hood back. It's no longer up on my head like it was before because, again, if I, I was walking, I was pulling that hay bale. And so I didn't want to overheat. So I tucked that down and now I've only got the hat on my head. And I take my gloves off until my fingers get cold. And now I'm going to walk down to our creek where the water is still running. And I'm going to get some water for those goats because they need it. Um, it's easy to get dehydrated in the winter. And most animals, I know my horse did, will lick the snow um, to get moisture. But <clears throat> he had a huge body mass. He was like a thousand pounds. And so licking that did not make him that much colder. But a goat's only, you know, 60 pounds, 30 pounds. And I don't know how much they lick, and I don't know how that affects their body temp. But I noticed that my goats are shivering periodically, which is a way for animals to uh, keep their body heat up when they're out in this. Um, <clears throat> here's the creek, and it's actually kind of full. It's flowing... <clears throat> This is like up of its banks. Uh, it's flowing more because we've had precipitation and it's going to rain next week. So it's probably going to be even wider than this. But I have a spot here in the middle where uh, a guy with a cat, bulldozer, a cat thing, uh, moved a big rock over to there. And so we left a big hole. And it's, it's actually deep enough for me to get this bucket in there and get a good amount of water in it. And you'll notice too, moving water doesn't freeze. Like this has been nine degrees here. This still doesn't freeze because it's moving versus a pond, which may be frozen, may get a layer of ice on the top and then you have to chop through it to get your water. Um, I'm carrying this slow. So again, I don't overheat. And once I've watered the goats, uh, I will start my trek back uphill. And again, I'm gonna do that nice and slow so I don't overheat. Now, as a matter of fact, because I'm carrying the load, I'm starting to heat up. I'm going to unzip the zipper here in the front to let heat escape. Because here's another concept, folks. Heat rises. So if you've made a fire, the hottest part of that fire is over top of it. And that's the reason why if you can deflect that heat in some way, you're going to keep more of it than if you just sit next to it. All right, you see our dog? She's making good use of her time. She's sniffing out scents uh, for what is, whatever animals have been moving through here, if it's armadillos or birds. It's also a really good time in the winter when it snowed to go looking for tracks. And I haven't done that, but I'm letting you know you can and you will see tracks bird tracks, rabbit tracks, even human tracks right here and right next to them are dogs track which is pretty good sized but because it's snow the edges are a little bit wider the actual size of the dog's foot so it makes it look bigger. She's not an enormous dog she's just between medium and large there she is. And this is not her climate. She does not like the cold. She's a warm weather dog, but she's also a companion dog and a hound dog. So she wants to come out with us when we're out. And she will get her nose to the ground and go looking around for stuff. Because it's fun for her. But when we get to the house, her place, as you've seen in my husband's videos, is right in front of the fire. So here they are. Everyone's eating. They've pretty much eaten the grain up. They're happy, but 
they need this water to digest that hay also it takes water and they will stop eating until they get water if they haven't been around water so they know they need it so i'm going to pour it in that bucket i'm going to head back up shabbat shalom to you all praise the father